Hey, welcome back to another one of our videos. Today I'll be going over audio on my 2001 Jeep XJ Cherokee. The front speakers never worked when I bought this Jeep. They were just blown on both sides, which I thought was weird. But I even tried testing out power to them, they just didn't work. Uh, I thought maybe it was an electrical issue. It wasn't, I got, some, I got the speakers out of the rear, swapped them out, and they ended up working in the front. And the front speakers didn't work in the rear, so I just found out that I just needed new speakers, so I went ahead and got these. These are the Boss Audio System CH5520, 5.25 inch. This is the Chaos Edition speakers. The, there you go, it goes with the 200 watts. It's a little bit of an upgrade compared to the OEM one. This one, uh, it's seen better days, you know. I'm gonna take it out of the box to show you a main difference though. All right, so here are the speakers comparison. I'm sure right off the bat you're probably like me and you see this one smaller than the factory one and you'd be correct. It's a little bit tinier. The mounting holes are a little bit off. I probably have to redrill them. Big difference is this factory speaker, let me get this tape measure out more so you can see, is right at five and a half inches. This aftermarket speaker is at five and a quarter. Mounting holes, I'll just use the tape so you can see, because it's flatter from end to end. You're at five and three quarters. From end to end on the factory, you're at six and a quarter. Six and eight. So that's gonna be the biggest difference. I'm still gonna see and maybe it'll fit. I might be able just to open up this hole all the way and let the screw sit. If not, I don't mind re the holes and putting it in. I hope these speakers work because that's what online said. But I'll still let you know. Either way, so another big difference. These speakers have these plugs. It's hard to mess up, tiny, big. Um, this factory one has the factory plug. Easy fix. You go on Amazon or wherever, you get this. There's a part number for you or that one one of these are the part numbers but it's four pack speaker harness i'll put the link in the description it uses the factory plug and adapts it to here i'll install it so you can see all right don't judge me on the drill it's my friends because all mine's at the shop but i used a 1 8 drill bit into the door and that allows for the use of the factory screw which is short enough not to interfere with anything so once you line it up, I just got a little scribe scratched in on the door where I want it, drilled it. The one eighth was perfect. It's tight enough that the screw goes in and not too tight that it strips the screw out. So that worked out perfect. However, Amazon sold me the wrong adapters. It said it was for this vehicle. They're for actually for a modern Cherokee. I guess they got the years wrong. I ordered the new adapters, they'll be here tomorrow, and I'll finish this video tomorrow. Alright, back on day two, the new uh, speaker wires came in. As you can see, it's the right connector. Had to get in front of the camera. And it has regular speaker wire, and then it has the small and large connector. The large is uh, going to be red positive, and the small is going to be silver negative, I believe. Let me go back. Yep. As you can see here as well, it's kind of hard to tell, but the fat one has the plus next to it and the small one has a negative next to it. Uh, here's your part number, XCCR09-0002. I got off Amazon, I'll put the link in the description for y'all. It's by Neweth Automotive Wiring Harness. I mean, we're about to put it in and see how it works. So it should be pretty quick. We go pop the door panel off and put the speaker in. All right, remove your Jeep panel. They made it so easy. You just lift up and you're off. No, I'm just kidding. There's actually quite a few screws, as you can see. One, two, three, and there should be one more, four. And uh, I'll show you on the other side. I already had this apart. I just kept it off since yesterday but i'll show you on the other side what it actually took off so i mean you can let this dangle here or you could disconnect these clips and wires i found i have just enough room i don't need to do all that and i use this 
rocker as a support for the door panel. So I already drilled my holes. And uh, you'll know whenever you get the mounting in, where to drill or where not. So I'm gonna need both hands, I'm gonna put this down and plug it in. All right, now as you can see, the original mounting hole is here and here. I just screwed one up and one down. I didn't worry about up here or down there. I just needed two holes and I want them as close as possible. I used the factory mounting holes with a 1 8 drill bit. Now I did test these beforehand and they sound and look great. I'm gonna put it all back together, make sure everything works. All right, I'm on the driver's side now. I haven't touched this door panel yet. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to take it off. First and easiest, one screw right there. One screw right there, those are the obvious ones. And then you go down here. You got one, two, and three. This one's hidden. Most people don't see that one. And that's it. After that, you pop all the way down here, all the way through here, and right here. Those are all push clips. And then this sits, this sits on a ridge. So after you pop all those out, you push up, and it comes out. And it has a little alignment tab on this side as well. So uh, it's all Phillips head, very easy. Jeep makes it very easy. All right, next, since of course these speakers are smaller, hence the tabs don't line up with the stock ones, you're gonna wanna take something. I'm using this little tiny screwdriver as a scribe. And all I'm gonna do is just, when I get it lined up, I'm just gonna scratch in. Or there's parts in the Jeep that have foam, I can just push and leave an indentation. Then you're gonna take your drill, one eighth if you're using the factory screws of course if you're going to use the screws that come in the hardware kit you're going to have to find the drill bit that best fits those because those are smaller and longer i'm not using those because they are longer and i don't want to run the possibility of it scratching the window going down or i doubt it but i'd rather just use what the factory came with the tiny ones and they're a little bit fatter and stronger so it helps if you have both hands or a partner helping you but you're just going to put it up However you think, keep in mind where your tabs are gonna be. Sorry, I keep trying to point with my other hand. Keep in mind where your tabs are gonna be and you wanna keep them out of the way too. So, of course, I'm doing this by myself. I gotta put the camera down and I'll show you the marks. Right, I got my marks. First one's gonna be right here where the foam is. Second one's gonna be this little scratch area. That's why I say you get something sharp. And then uh, you can see your factory connectors right there. All right, after drilling your two new holes, you're gonna to wanna to run your factory screws in before the speaker to clean up the hole and make new threads. Next, you're gonna plug this in to the factory here. You can see the very distinct sizes in these two plugs in here as well, so you can't mess it up. Voila, there you go. You can see positive red wire, negative gray wire. Um, another important distinction, when you're scribing, drilling, or screwing, be very careful not to mess up your speaker because you put any holes in this, your speaker's done for. I know it's only a $20 set of speakers. That's still $20 of hard earned money. So be careful, don't ruin your day with that. I didn't do that on these, but I have done in the past. So that's how things are learned, I guess. So now that's in. Next, we want to plug in our factory harness. You can see it's very long. I like to wrap it around and then plug it in. So I'll do that now. Of course, you can route it however you feel is best. You can zip tie, put clamps, whatever you need, or just let it dangle. All right, now that everything's connected, I got the screw there and the screw there. You go back in reverse. Your uh, lip on the back of the door panel is going to hook right in this channel right here, not up here, but down here. It can be a little tricky. Also, what helps is this alignment tab, okay? It's gonna go in that hole right here. So you're gonna put the channel, your door panel is gonna stick out real far and you're not gonna be able to get it closed. So just align that alignment tab and everything will go back in perfectly. And this is what I'm talking about right here. See how it's like that, it's sticking out. I just push it in and everything goes back in. Lines up, you're gonna have to move this a little bit to line it with the hole. Do that one first and then do the rest. All right, so due to YouTube's copyright policy, I'm not allowed to show a video actually playing music on the speaker, but I can tell you they sounded great, good thump. It's nice having front speakers again. And I actually just bought another set for my rear speakers because they sounded so much better than the stock rear ones. 
So I highly recommend them for $25. You can't beat for two speakers. That sounds great. All the links will be in the description down below. If you like this video, give a like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate y'all. Have a good day.